I make the joke when they come in their very first day, it is my goal to lose the client because that means what we're doing is working. You can train three things in your life, your mind, your body, and your craft. They have coaches to train their craft. They have strength and conditioning and dietitians and athletic trainers to train their body. My job is to train their brain and all of these things are skills that we're working on. So whether that's focus, confidence, being able to reach their highest potential even when adversity hits so that they have a system in place. I love to ask the question of like, you know, what are, what are some of your core values or your inner strengths and intangibles that makes you unique and a lot of them really are lost at that question because they only relate to their skill set as an athlete. Helping them develop who they are outside of their sport, even outside of the classroom, helping them navigate all these really difficult areas of their lives to ultimately connect to their most genuine selves. The transition from home to here with just school is difficult. And you add in the hours and hours a day each athlete puts in. You go to practice, then you go to school, then you do homework, then you do it again. And so there never feels like a moment of relief. You can't just complain to your coach and you don't want to be the complaining teammate. So you feel so alone that it's like you need that resource to go talk to you even if you don't feel like you do. It is, I think, one of the most important resources to a student athlete. Our team is starting to see the effects of working with a sports psychologist to really enhance you know, another part of our game. It's another side of the game that if you can elevate and you can improve on, you set yourself up for so much more success. We're all a work in progress. The idea is to find a way to fall in love with that process and know that if you don't see the results overnight or in a certain time frame, it doesn't mean it's not happening. There's no magic wand, there's no magic pills, it's just you showing up for yourself and trusting that the work you're doing is going to bring about the results that you are, are seeking, just like sports. My favorite thing is to see them learn a specific skill and go out and apply it. All of a sudden you see that athlete's demeanor change and they're able to let go of things a whole lot quicker and they're able to manage their thoughts, their emotions, and their physical responses to whatever that threat was in their environment so that they perform at a high level. Our most important message is that they matter to us. And they matter as student athletes, but they more so matter as human beings. Even though I started my mental health journey for volleyball, it has helped me in other aspects of my life just by doing it.